Hi everyone, I'm Shira from Adelante and today we'll talk about automations. Let's dive in. Let's dive into using time-based automation, which are different than event-based triggers. Automation will perform an action in your account based on elapsed time. This is different from triggers, which are looking for an event like a ticket creation or a ticket update. Automations essentially are waiting on the clock. Once every hour, your automation will evaluate your entire Zendesk and fire on tickets which meet the conditions. Starting at the top, Automation 1 will evaluate your ticket. Those conditions are met, and so Automation 1 fires. Then, Automation 2 will evaluate your ticket. Those conditions, however, are not met, so Automation does not fire. The ticket then goes to Automation 3. The conditions are met and then it circles back. If two automations were competing, say one set a priority to a high and the next set it to low, the last automation on the list would win since it fires after the first. Let's build a bump bump solve automation. This workflow functions first by notifying a requester that an agent has been waiting for the response. That's the first bump. It then notifies the requester again, if they still have not responded. That's the second bump. It then eventually notifies the requester that the non-responded ticket has been solved. Go to the admin center. and choose Objects and Rules. Press Automations under Business Rules. On this page, you can see all the active automations at the moment and also the inactive ones. Use the Option button to do all sorts of actions. Edit, Clone, Move to First Position, Move to Last Position, Select Position and Deactivate. Let's add the first bump automation. I'll call it first bump. Now we will add conditions. The first condition is status is pending because the agent is waiting for the customer's response at the time-based condition. I'll do our sense pending greater than 96. The last condition I'll add is a nullifying condition. You would use a nullifying action to stop the automation from firing every hour when using the greater than or less than condition. I'll do tags contains none of the following don't bump and bump one. We'll add the bump one tag automatically. Agents can manually add the don't bump tag if needed. Let's add actions. Email user to give a relevant name and the relevant email for the customer. Second action will be to add a tag. Add tags, bump one. When you're done, create automation. Moving on to our second bump automation. This automation is similar, but has different conditions. Our sense pending are greater than 144. Tags contain none of the following don't bump and bump two. And tags contains at least one of the following bump one to make sure the customer is getting the second bump after he got the first one. The last condition is our sense update greater than 48. Also to make sure he got the first bump 48 hours ago. Add a relevant text, add a second bump tag, and create automation. 
The last automation will do two things. Solve the ticket and notify the requester. I'll call it solve after bump. The conditions are status is pending, our sense pending less than 168, tags contain none of the following don't bump, tags to contain the bump to tag, and our sense update greater than 72 hours. Add a relevant email to tell the customer that we solved his ticket and add an action of status is solved because we want to solve the ticket. When you're done, create automation. The last thing we need to do is to add a cleanup trigger that will remove any of the bump solve process tags if the ticket is reopened. We will go to the trigger settings page and add the trigger. I'll call it cleanup tags. You can add a short description and decide under which category will this trigger be. And now I'll add conditions. Status, change to open. Tags, contain at least one of the following. Bump one and bump two. Action section will remove the tags. Remove tags, bump one, and bump two. And when you're done, press on the create button. That's it. You've just set your new bump bump solve automation. Here are some automation examples you could use. Close ticket four days after status is set to solved. Tag abandoned tickets that haven't been updated for four days. Notify courier group when new ticket remains unsigned for 48 hours, and there are a lot more. We've reached the end of this lesson. I hope you got all the information you need. Thank you for watching.